Well, what does that magnifying glass app on your iPhone, what does that thing even do? It's sitting there. Is that something that we even need to worry about? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's actually really, really cool to be honest with you. I didn't use it for the longest time, but then when I started using it, I was like, wow, where has this been all my life? Like, seriously. So it's actually really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you uh, how you can use it and why I think it's a really, really cool app. So let's dig into it a little bit. Let's take a, let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got. All right. So here's our iPhone. And if, again, if you scroll over, this is the app that we're talking about. The one that has the magnifying glass. And I know it's sitting there. It's probably one of those apps. It's like, yeah, what is that? I don't know what that is. I don't need it. Don't use it. Don't care. But you might like this because notice something that it does. Now, here's one. Here's where I started using it. You click this and basically it opens up the app. It's it's basically, it looks like the camera, right? But it acts a little bit different than the camera and that's why I really like it. Because if you notice here, you have this bar at the bottom and this is your, I call it the zoom bar. You can take this, you can move it and look what's happening. You see how that zooms in really, really close? And then you can zoom back really, really back, really, really far back. Or you can zoom in really, really close. You can zoom in far back, zoom in close, far back, zoom in close, far. You get the picture, right? You understand. So anyway, um, I love this because what I found, the, the reason I started using it was because I went in the store one time and I forgot to bring my readers with me. I forgot to bring my glasses. And I was sitting there struggling to look at the price <laughs> on the shelf of the, the there was a what is that what they call that the barcode the label on the shelf i couldn't see the price on that thing i mean not necessarily the price i couldn't see the um the the number i think they call it a upc number i think that's what they called it but i like to look at that because i want to make sure that the item that's on the shelf is actually in the right place because i'll go buy something in a different price or ring up and uh, i just hate doing that but anyway all i do is use this and i just zoom in and I can see that barcode really, really clearly. I can see the number on it clearly, even without my glasses. And that is the best thing in the world. Even without my readers, I can do this. That is so cool, because I always have my phone on me. I'm not gonna forget that. But here's another neat um, trick about this, because you can zoom in, and let's say the item is on, and I'm just using uh, um, a label at the store. You can really use this on anything. You can zoom in on a ring if you want to. If there's a, the details, if you want to see ingredients on the back of a bottle, you can use this to, to zoom in and look at the ingredients. As a matter of fact, I can use this. Um, this is actually, what do you call this? Glass cleaner. I think that's what, yeah. Lens cleaner. That's what it is, lens cleaner. So it, just imagine if you had ingredients that you had to look at. And it was tiny. You see how tiny that print is. Half the time you can't even see that stuff. But you can simply just zoom in. Yeah. And look at that. Look at that. You can zoom in and literally read what's on the back of the bottle. Isn't that cool? Now here's the neat part. You can do this. You can zoom in on something. I say, for instance, let's say you need something on the bottom of a shelf. You're not going to bend down there and hold your phone trying to read this while you're looking at something on the bottom of the shelf, right? No, you're not going to do that. You're gonna be like, I'm not bending down to, to watch that or to look at that. But what you can do, you can hold your phone down there. You can zoom in. You can lock it on whatever you're trying to read and push this button right here. This button right here will actually snap a picture for you. Now look at that. You can actually see the the writing on the phone. That is the coolest thing. Look at that. So you can just take the picture of it. Now I'm moving the glass cleaner. It's no longer here. But now it's sitting here. So you can still, again, remember the zoom tool that we talked about? That, that zoom bar? You can zoom in. Look at that. You can see it closer. You can zoom out. That is the coolest thing in the world. Now, you might be wondering why well, I can do the same thing with my camera on my phone if I want to do that. Just take a picture and zoom in. Now, you're right. You can. But here's how magnifier works differently. And I think this is so cool. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. Now, look, when I'm done, you see the X right here? Just hit it. I'm done. 
that picture is no longer on my phone. It's gone. I don't need it anymore. I don't need to see it anymore. Versus if you take a picture with your camera on your phone, so you can take a picture and then you can pinch and zoom on your um, on your camera app. But then when you finish, you don't need that picture on there anymore. Now, all you have to do, I mean, what you have to do now is you have to go and select that picture. You've got to delete the picture. Then you've got to go into your trash folder and completely delete the picture out of your out of your camera. I mean, out of your phone and, and magnifier just eliminates all of that. The only reason you're using the magnifier app is because you temporarily want to see something up close. So literally, that's all you do. Zoom in close to something. That's it. Take a shot of it. Now you can look at it as close as you want to. Zoom in, zoom out. Oh, okay, I got what I need. I'm done. Just hit the X and it's over. It's over just like that. Can you imagine that? Now let's say for instance, a little. it's a little dark in the place where you're trying to look at something. Over here, you have the flashlight tool. You can simply hit that. You see that? You see the light turn on? We'll turn that back off. Notice what happens when I hit it again. You see that? It uses the internal flash on your um, phone to light up what you're trying to magnify on. That is the coolest thing in the world. Now, with your uh, camera app, you won't be able to you know, turn your flash on and off like that so easily. You can turn it on and let the camera focus and try to take a picture and then it'll turn the light on, but it's so easy in this app if you're only trying to see something up close. So again, that's all you have to do. Of course, you can use this. You can take a selfie. You can spin it around. You can also zoom in and out, and I'll do that for you. We'll spin it around. Whoa, here I am right here. Can you see me? Whoa, I can zoom in on myself. Whoa, look at all those craters in the in my forehead. Whoa. <laughs> no, seriously. But yeah, uh, for some reason, I guess if you want to zoom in and, and look at your eyebrows or something, I don't know. I guess you can do that. But that's basically what this app does. It is actually so cool. You can take pictures. You can take multiple pictures. It's really, really cool. So if you have any other questions about it, I'd be glad to answer them for you. Hopefully that helps out a lot. Um, if you haven't already, I certainly would like for you to, to like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe this video. Did I really just say that? Like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. That's really what I mean to say. I'm just all confused right now. That's what I'm trying to say. Like the video and subscribe. So I appreciate you watching and hopefully this was helpful to you. We'll see you on the next one.